Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Baking with Nupur at Baker's Delight. And if you are new to my channel, then quickly hit that bell icon and subscribe to my channel. So let's start. Today I am going to show you how to paint on a whipped cream cake. So this is a chocolate truffle which I have covered with whipped cream and it has been sitting in the fridge for the past two hours. That's how you need it, at least slightly chilled so that it's easier to work with. Now let's look at the picture that we are going to paint on. See this is the picture that I'm going to paint on this cake. So as you can see here there are three color distinctions here which is the sky then you have the ocean or the sea and then you have the grass area. So for this, what we need to do is, I'm just going to keep this as the reference here. And this is the airbrush machine. So in this airbrush machine, as you can see here, you have uh, this button. This you pull back to spray. And over here, you put the color. So airbrush colors are different. They are more liquidy water like so that they are easily sprayed and these are the gel colors that we are going to use to paint on the cake. So first I'm going to make the three divisions using these airbrush colors as you can see this is green then we have uh, blue this is from uh, Ameri colors and that was magic colors so you can use whichever brand that suits you best. And right now what we need to do is make the divisions just for your eyes okay so I'm just taking a toothpick and I'm just lightly drawing a line just to make sure which is my grass portion which is the sea portion and which is the sky okay clean your toothpick then another the division for the sky and the sea just slightly there we go okay so once this is done what happens is this becomes easier when you're spraying so that you don't mix up the colors or you know uh, you know when you're going with the flow you don't cover too much of either part so first I'm gonna do the sky so this is a, a very light blue color so always start with the lighter color and then go with the deeper ones just take a little bit so let's start so lightly pull the liver back and from a slight distance don't just go straight above the cake at a certain angle you'd know best when you're doing it so just cover till the line that you drew for the C just cover till that part just keep pulling the liver back that's it so I hope uh, you can see that I've covered the entire sky and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a deeper color this is from magic colors so taking a deeper color start the machine once again and now we are going to do the C so I'm just going a little on top of the sky so that there's a smudge effect okay so that they are overlapping beautifully so you can just spray like left and right that's it you don't need to go up and down and now the green so just wash your airbrush machine before you add the next color so after the light blue i didn't wash the machine because it was another shade of blue which was a little darker but now i need to wash this machine wash off the color and then add the next color to it so now you see it's completely clean and once again i'm gonna add this magic colors green color which is the airbrush color Just take a little bit at a time. You can always add more. That's it. So let's do the grass area. So see, I'm just doing it from a little distance. 
and just slightly pulling and leaving the lever it's like a spray machine it's fairly simple to use there's no hard and fast rule or anything that you need to follow for this just take care of your airbrush machine they're very delicate machines so you need to really take care of them okay so now as you can see that the grass portion is done beautifully if you have like you know a darker portion of grass and a lighter portion of grass you can obviously take a deeper green color and you know just do a little bit of dark patch on certain areas so that's it that's all you need to do so our background is completely ready now so always wash your airbrush machine and then keep it aside okay don't just leave it on with the color so it dries off and then it becomes really difficult to clean later on all right so our base work is already done and now we can start painting now this part onwards there's really not much that can be said or taught it entirely depends on how good a painter you so are if you're great at painting then this is your go cake for sure so first looking at the picture always keep it as a guide you can take a print of it and then you know use it as a guide what i'm doing here if you can look closely i'm using the same toothpick and i'm just marking the tree and the branch i just did that so i hope you noticed so see wherever i marked the branch now i'm just going to take the brown gel color no water nothing at this point just very light handed okay you have to keep the photo as reference at all time and you have to just paint very lightly because if you put a lot of pressure on the cream then you are going to end up smudging the cream with the paint and you're going to dent it so don't do that this is a very light handed work guys i'm repetitively telling you you need to be very cautious and very light handed it's just like feather touching you know a surface so very lightly do the branches be feel free to innovate feel free to i mean it's not like you're replicating a picture so you have to do like every inch or every branch or every freckle of it exactly the same like see i'm not even looking at the picture at this point i just took the idea how the branch is going and i'm just following my instinct and you know coloring it shading it with a lighter see i took a little bit of white and now i'm just making some bark shades a little bit of black a little bit of brown a little bit of white so this is you know something that i cannot really explain or teach you like this but you have to go with your instinct and follow the design that's it see those white marks those barks that you have on the tree so now again i'm going to take the next color and I'm going to just do accordingly. You know the leaves. See how they are falling from the branches. So just like that, you know, you just touch, slightly touch. You don't have to be very specific. And I think I am going to do a little more of the leaves, like you know, make them drop down from two or three areas a little bit lower. So I'm just slightly touching the cake with the color. See how beautiful it's already looking. Oh my god. Wow. I thoroughly enjoyed making this cake guys and from this point onwards I don't think there is too much that I can really say or explain I think you just have to see what I am doing follow what I am doing and understand how I'm doing it and that's how you're going to get your painted cake done and obviously once again I repeat it is entirely up to your hand and your artistic skills that is ultimately going to give you that painted effect you have to practice a little bit guys because the pressure on the cake with the brush is the most difficult part of painting on any whipped cream or buttercream cake buttercream is still easier i would rather say because it stiffens up really well but whipped cream is much more difficult so you need to practice a little more keep the picture is guide keep on seeing it again and again how the design is see now the grass portion so we have to make that distinct with a little bit of darker shade of green see how i'm going very lightly 
and then we are going to make upward strokes as well so if you can see i didn't do anything for the c up till now but you can distinctly say from the picture right now that you're seeing on screen that you can distinguish the sky with the c already without anything extra that i've done So just keep watching what I'm doing. Enjoy this video and I hope you're going to make some very very soon. I'm really waiting for your feedback on this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this music now. Right now I'm going to make the swing and I'm not going to follow the picture to a T and make a really nice swing. I am actually going to make a broken swing because I want to give it that lonely beach kind of feel. So I'm going to make a broken swing which is broken from like one end. So let's get that look.
Ta-da! The cake is ready. It is fully painted. Wow, look at that. I love it. Do you? Please leave your comments below. I am eagerly waiting for them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy baking!